sitting possibly the greatest footballer ever at the absolute peak of his powers. And then Ronaldo! Oh! Oh, look at this, Kevin. It's a brilliant run from Messi. Going to go all the way! Now the turn to trouble. Brilliant footwork. Amazing goal! Oh! Messi! We talked about Messi last week, didn't we? Or two weeks ago, I should say. And now it's all about Cristiano Ronaldo. Those two, those two just keep pushing each other on, pushing the boundaries of greatness. Exactly. And, and would they have been able, that's the question that yeah. I always ask myself, would they have been able to do this and keep this up, the relentlessness that they've shown without each other? Would, if they was out on their own, no one else around, would they continue to, to have done this? That's oh, the question. I, I think they probably do add to the motivation. Yeah, 100%. I think all the great sportsmen in the world have always had that someone else to, yeah. to feed off. And I think this is another great rivalry in football. They don't talk about it. There's a, it seems like there's a yeah. bit of a respect between them. They don't ever mention each other, really. But they're just phenomenal mm -hmm. to watch. And that, that people try and make comparisons of who's better, etc. Just enjoy them, yeah. man. We're they're very different footballers as well in yeah. many ways. And what, what makes one better than the other. Yeah, forget the comparisons. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, they're setting standards, we're taking them for granted, we're expecting goals in big games to change games. They do it week in, week out. Uh, they're out on their own, um, as you say, completely different, but enjoy them. And, and even though they, they give off a, diff a different persona from the outside, and we see them differently, that hunger is the same. Mm. It's just, it just looks differently from the outside. Yeah. They're both pushed on, they both want to beat each other, which has created this, this monster in both of them. Yeah. They, no. they both deliver at the right time, they both deliver in big games. We've seen them scoring Champions League finals mm. in, in huge matches all over the world. They're different footballers, one's diminutive, one's a kind of Adonis, mm. uh, but they give so much to the game. Yeah, they do, and they just they create highlight reel after highlight reel <laughs> after highlight reel, and it's just phenomenal. It just each game, even at the weekend just gone, Messi comes off the bench, rescues the game for Barcelona. Yeah. They're doing it week in, week out, and it's we talk about players that, that that get to the top. There's many players that get there and stay there for a year or two. Yeah, these lot have been there for 10, 12 years doing it, and. It, and when you look back and you start looking at the stats, like we said before the game, he's got, he's almost, I think he's a goal off 200, uh, 650 goals, yeah. Ronaldo. That is more than I had appearances. Mm. How about you? Similar? Yeah, similar. It's like, that's, and that's just, a, it's ridiculous. So to see it when you, when you put it down like that, these guys are just it's breaking. It's for everybody rules. else. You can't live with that. No. Where individuals that good in a team, it makes it very hard well, for every other team to deal with. You can talk about players from different eras, and that's kind of unfair as well because things change in the game. Yeah. The, the, the pitches are much better now that they play on, the facilities are yeah. better, the, the diet, everything is much better, isn't it, now? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's hard to compare players from, from different generations, but the numbers. The yeah. numbers, the statistics of these two yeah. are truly extraordinary. Yeah, that's what stands out. And, and the game is a lot quicker, uh, I have to say yeah. now. So there are, these things probably level themselves out. Great players in different areas yeah. will, will be great players yeah. anyway. But the, the, as you say, the numbers make a difference. People can overlook stats. You can't, they smack you in the face. Yeah. The stats are incredible. To say that he scored more goals than appearances for Real Madrid, 650. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that's just not, that's abnormal. I mean, I'm, I, don't, I, I don't want to butter you up too much, you two guys, but you, you two world-class players and you sit there and we watch players and we, you know, you're thinking, you're in awe of them in, in many ways and they're at a different level to world class. Yeah, you can't look at that. Yeah. Like, they're up there somewhere yeah. and all the other players in the world don't care what their egos are saying and what they think of themselves, they're looking up there going, I wish and I can't get to that level. They ain't going to get to that level. It's just, it's, it's, like Frank said, it's abnormal. But what I would say about what it gives a team when you've got a player like that in your team, the confidence that spreads throughout the team that we do our jobs right, we just get it right ourselves, keep the back door shut, no goals against. He will score us a goal, he'll get us a chance minimum. I remember when I played against Diego Maradona and met him on a couple of occasions, obviously the 86, the, the World Cup game where, not the handball goal, but the other goal. Mm -hmm. It was the one time in my whole career where I felt like I ought to applaud. Mm -hmm. I mean, was, it, you get those sort of moments of players having a respect for genius. Yeah, and that's sorry to interrupt Frank, but them type of goals, like as a football fan, I remember the commentary on that yeah. goal. You know, that turns, a little squat man. Like, you remember things like that. It's like today, people remember where they were when that goal went in. Mm -hmm. And likewise, the Zidane goal in the Champions League mm -hmm. final. These goals create great memories, mm -hmm. and you remember 
that occasion and that time, what you was doing, what you was wearing, etc. Yeah. Unbelievable. I think, uh, well, I can't split them at the moment, but I think they are over all the eras. And you know, we see old videos; it's not easy yeah. to compare. But the ruthlessness, mm. not just the ability, but the hunger and the ruthless finishing and, and the longevity. Longevity. Game after game, year after year, scoring an important, important game. Things that we take for granted. It's not been done before to this yeah, level, has no. it? It's Ronaldo. Oh, he's done it! He has only gone and done it! Could this be the hat-trick before half-time? Oh, brilliant! The most talented footballer of his generation. Cristiano Ronaldo takes his time. Still got time. 2-0! Oh, it's Messi. Away from two, three, four, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How good is he? Cristiano Ronaldo! Who else on a big night? Great ball. Ronaldo, he's onside, he's beaten the defence, he draws Valdez! Cristiano Ronaldo with a platinum touch! Lionel Messi! Oh my goodness! Lionel Messi does it again, he's superhuman! Another chapter in the incredible story of this little man. Quería la tres, acá están las tres. Vica el Barça y Vica Cataluña. Uno, dos.